It's exactly 19 minutes past 10 here in the studio of Apex One Radio. Time for us to start receiving our guests. And the first on our lineup are actors of Niger. Niger is um, uh, a, a film which is upcoming. It will be released anytime soon. It's produced by Carl Safinda and Carl Njuman with uh, some frontline Cameroonian actors including Jeffrey Pule, Otia Vitalis, um, but today uh, we are receiving uh, three actors in Vite's movie who uh, are young yet so talented. They are now joining us from Boya. We have uh, Martha Mwambo, there is Beatrice uh, Mokake, and of course, uh, Emmanuel Mosoko. How are you guys doing? Welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Broadcaster. Thank okay. you for Thank having you. us. <laughs> I like that name, Mr. Mr. Broadcaster. So how are you guys doing? How is <laughs> Boya Ayres. today? <laughs> how is Boya this uh, Saturday afternoon? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's great. It's sunny. Yeah, nice. a little bit sunny than usual. Okay. Wow. So, uh, it's um, what about the seven seven days rain in Boya? Is it, is it over? Almost. It's ah, almost okay. uh, <laughs> right. End of <laughs> and so we have three young people who are making strides in. Uh, the seventh art they are all actors very fantastic actors of course and uh, i can assure you that they are featuring in maija maija is an upcoming Cameroonian movie that is done entirely in the bakure language am i correct sure, yes you are right. beautiful so um is it a long film or, or a short film it's a short film it's a short, it's a short film. film yes okay uh what is the length of of the film um, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't be precise because um, the director and the producer are fully concerned with the length of it, but what we know is that it's a short film. Beautiful. So, Carl Njuma is now joining us from Baltimore. He is uh, one of the producers of Maija. Carl, welcome to the show. Thank you, Mr. Ernest. Thank you for having me. How are you and how is Baltimore this morning? Baltimore is Baltimore, always Baltimore. Baltimore is uh, uh, doing great this morning, I guess. Yes. All right. So um, I was just about to know um, how long Maija is. I'm told it is a short film. Maija is um, in length. Maija is 29 minutes, 41 seconds to be precise. 29 minutes, 41. Wow, that's great. And, and the film is done uh, entirely in Bakure. Yes, you're very correct. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is this the first film uh, you are doing entirely in in uh, in a mother tongue? I know you've produced other films. Yes, this is the first project I, I actually did in Bakure. We mm -hmm. actually did in Bakure entirely. What was the goal? Now uh, we the, the, the world is global, and you don't expect uh, people in. In 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 in, in, in uh, Madagascar, people in Australia to understand that way. Okay, basically, um, I'll start by talking about the Bakri culture. The Bakri mm -hmm. culture in itself is a very it's it, it's very rich, mm -hmm. and most people don't know about the Bakri culture. And I think, first of all, to improve on my culture and sell it in the global stage mm -hmm. it was an opportunity for me to present the bakure language the culture mm -hmm. to the world mm -hmm. and um, secondly the story behind maija is um, uniquely tied to the bakure culture like with no bakure culture there will be no maija wow and plus you sell your story better you sell it in its original form if maija was done in english if there was english on the project i'm very sure you'd have killed the entire value of the production originality there my is a short film 29 minutes 41 seconds a film shot in boya i guess and uh, let me go back to the the actors in the movie beginning with uh, uh martha how did you get on this uh, project okay um i once worked with our producer here, Ms. Mr. Njuma, mm -hmm. and 
Carl Safinda and our director, um, Kanya Kwai. So Kanya and um, Carl Safinda texted me and said um, they wanted me to work in a project that is coming up in January. That was mm -hmm. in December when he texted. So that's how I got to the movie, to the okay. project. And what, what character are you playing in the movie? Namundo. Namundo, okay. Hmm. Um, next, little Emmanuel, how are you doing today? Fine. <laughs> Emmanuel is doing fine. Emmanuel, tell me about the character you're playing in this film. I play like the little boy. Oh, the little boy. Okay. Uh, Beatrice, tell us about your character in Maija. Um, I played the role of Njema, um, mm -hmm. Namundo's best friend. And how did you get on this project? Um, I don't differ much from her experience. It's just merely because of the connection I have with the producers, Carl mm -hmm. Safina and Juma Carl, mm -hmm. and the director too. And I must say that it is a plus being a Bakuri person because mm -hmm. since the movie is in Bakuri, I needed to be fluent. So that gave me an advantage. Beautiful. I know of Martha, she's uh, done uh, many movies and um, short ones also that have even won awards. Um, tell us, Beatrice, for how long have you been in, in, in the movies? For how long have you been acting? And what motivated you into, into this mm -hmm. art? I've been, okay, I've been acting since I was 14. And okay. Yes, I got in from the High Talent Show, and since then I've been following on some few projects. I mm -hmm. have so far been in um, Samba, okay. uh, Fisherman's Diary, just to name a few that I can remember right now. Mm -hmm. So that's just it. And then my Jack came. It's the latest I've done so far. Beautiful. Amanda, how did you get into the movies? For how long have you been acting? For months ago. Oh, Amanda only got in months ago. We're looking forward to, to, to watch Maija Ayen. Hopefully, we will uh, um, appreciate your performance. Carl, uh, tell us, why should Maija at this time, was there any particular motivation? Was there something you wanted to tell the world? Well, basically, I um, did conceive the project of Maija like um, five years ago while I was in Cameroon. Mm -hmm. I just started as the movie project everybody knew as Mweli. Mm -hmm. So I was um, a semi-final, I was blessed to be a semi-finalist of the Mandela Washington Fellowship, okay. an initiative by, 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 by President Obama to empower young African leaders. Mm -hmm. So while presenting my project at the, the American Embassy, I came in contact with um, a girl who is in America today too, by name Epamba Comfort. Mm -hmm. She had um, a project on menstruation and parts mm -hmm. so while sitting in the um, hall i just i was just like wow this is she has a very she she, she did a very impressive mm -hmm. production uh, presentation sorry so all through i've been thinking about um doing a project on menstruation or something so at that point i was like why don't i take this project to my culture since i know because i'm a bakarian too right i know the bakary culture is extremely rich so upon doing my research, I discovered that menstruation was closely tied to albinism in the, the Bakwe culture. Mm -hmm. So that's when I conceived the project. And it started at Sumweli, but um, due to one or two technical reasons, we could not come out in Mweli, though it was shot, never uh, released or anything. That's how it transformed to Maija. We did one or two touches. Okay. And the goal of the project was to, it was, it's an educative project like my friend Safinda Kao always says it's a project born of a need to address the societal issues right like the discriminations of, on, on, on albinos and the how people mystify menstruation particularly in a modern land where we come from Africa to be precise Film born of the need to address a societal issue. My Jam is a short film produced by Carl Juma and Carl Safinda, directed by Nkanya Kwan, featuring Martha Mambo, Emmanuel Mosoko, and Beatrice uh, Mokake, and scores of other frontline actors. Now, um, let me go back to the actors. Martha, Emmanuel, Beatrice, tell me about your experience shooting this movie. How was the rapport on set between the cast and 
the technical crew? Who goes first? I'll go first. Okay. <laughs> um, the experience on set was quite um, a little different from other sets because, you know, you meet new people and you have to 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 learn how to to get along with, with each of them. Mm -hmm. But if it comes to the director, it was cool because that was not the first time I worked with him. If he came mm -hmm. to the producer here, Mr. Njuma, that was not the first time I worked with him, so it was cool. The late, little bit of difficulties we faced was, I faced, was speaking in Mugwe. To be honest, mm -hmm. I'm Bakure, but <laughs> There was sometimes I thought that, and you know, I, I would not be perfect as my grandmother would be, and that was what we were looking for mm -hmm. to be perfect, so mm -hmm. that it goes out there, so that the culture goes out there. Mm -hmm. Right. But uh, so far, it was cool. Beatrice, um, was the rapport? Um, I mean, did the chemistry flow? Yes, it did. It, it was a wonderful experience. I mm -hmm. I don't want to speak too soon, but this might be the best project I've done. Okay. Like the best I've done. Mm -hmm. Reason being that it gave me the opportunity to experience my tradition because mm -hmm. I I live in Boya, yes, and that's a place for Bakwe people. But I will I won't lie to you. I'm not really versed with the tradition. Okay. So yeah, the movie gave me an, an opening. It, yeah, a very big opening, and it mm -hmm. was. It was wonderful. I was very excited, especially when I heard that it's going to be in Bakwe. Very challenging, Emmanuel, very excited. Emmanuel, was this your first movie? Yes. And did you like the experience? Yes, it was nice. Okay, that's interesting. Now, let me go back to Carl. Uh, uh, tell me quickly, uh, was the movie scripted? Yes, it was scripted. Okay, and scripted in Bakwe. Yeah, initially the movie was scripted in English, and then um, we had the translator come okay. on set and translate everything to Bakwere. Okay, because uh, now I, I'm, I'm curious, um, Bakwere would definitely be more difficult to read than English. So, um, even when you are Bakwere, so how did the actors uh, do it? Let me go back to them. Tell me, were you kind of um, uh, doing the, I mean, your lines as as scripted or um, you were improvising okay the script was thanks to the producers the script reached us before it was shooting time yes. okay so we we had the opportunity to be able to learn our lines and, and translate, translate them, them to yes. Mukwe mm -hmm. before we went on set though we went on set the translator had to do a little corrections here and there and then see what will go and what will not go because mm -hmm. you know english is not the same it doesn't, it go, doesn't directly. go directly you have to look for some words to right. substitute yeah okay so, mm. so were you satisfied with your performance mm. That's satisfied with the performance <laughs> uh beatrice were you satisfied with your performance Yes, yes, I, I I can say I was satisfied, but I cannot really say for sure. But I mm. I am not saying let's just wait for the movie. We'll wait to for the movie. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, we did our best. We we'll definitely wait for the movie. Um Carl, tell me you you have the the, the, the products uh, which will be released uh, I don't know when, but tell me when you go through it, are you are you satisfied? Did the actors give you what you wanted? <laughs> I didn't hear you, sir. So did the actors give you the kind of performance you, you wanted for your film? Are you satisfied? Um, I would say yes, they did what I expected. There's mm -hmm. no perfect movie project. And um, people refer to Mata in the U.S. as the Teraji of Cameroon. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. The teaser, the thriller, or anything, the mm -hmm. Martha Beatrice too is highly commended. And my brother and friend, he's um, a vet, he's a big actor, so I need not make mention. They put a Jeffrey, everybody. Is mm -hmm. like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so uh, tell us a little bit uh, in, in a few seconds about director Kanyan Kwai. How did you get him on, on, on the project? Well, Kanyan Kwai has been. Um, a friend for years and um, he's been my friend for a minute mm -hmm. but when i came up with the project 
I came up with the project with Safinda. So we were like, who can direct this project best? Mm -hmm. So we had a fight over that. Initially, Kanya is my man, my very good friend. Mm -hmm. I call him Mr. Mayo. So I was like, I don't think this is the movie from Kanya and Kwai. Safinda was, I think it's the movie from Kanya and Kwai. So we had this back and forth going on for like two weeks to three. And then we both decided that we should use Kanya. But mm -hmm. actually, I saw what he meant by Kanya was the man for the job. Okay. And just like Mata, at first sight, I did not think Mata was the person for the job. Mm -hmm. Then Kanyan Kwine and Safinda Kao pressed so hard on me to the extent that I could not say no. And then finally, I see the end product and I'm like, you were, you were, you were absolutely wrong. Right. So we're about to run off. Uh, let me go back to the actors. Um, quickly tell me, why do you think this movie uh, should be watched? Even by people who um, are not Bakurians. Uh, Bakuri, or the Bakuri people are part of Africa and part of the world. If we can watch people from the other parts of the world and mm -hmm. copy their culture and want to do like them, then there is every reason why other people should want to watch and see us and learn our very, very rich culture that we have and then learn our stories that happened even before people like me was born and other Beautiful. people. So I think that should be number one reason why they should watch the movie. And then number two reason is because we want to make our people very, very proud. We want to do yeah. more than Cameroon. There's a lot. There's a lot to tell. And there's a okay. lot to tell. This yeah. is just the beginning. <laughs> All right, so Emmanuel, are you promising um, whoever is going to watch this movie that they uh, won't um, waste their time? Yeah, yeah. yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, the movie is uh, uh, subtitled, I guess, Carl. Yes, it's subtitled with English okay. and French. So when are you releasing it? As of now, I, it's not my decision, and the okay. entire team haven't agreed on a particular a set date and time. So for now, we we'll still put it on hold. Are you planning a premiere for it? Uh, we are planning something like not a premiere, a preview, but okay. after the festivals, because we did the movie as a festival movie. We want to okay. submit for festivals first, and then we get to the previews and all of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I want to thank you guys so much for joining us on the show to talk about uh, my dad. We'll definitely come back to 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 it when uh, um, it's time to for it to be made public. So, congrats on the great job you are doing, and do have a fantastic rest of the weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Bye for having me. Bye. Bye.